me a minute. Holy Ghost. Take time, Father. Take time. Take time. Take time, God. Take time. Take time. Take time. Ooh, what? Fish. I age. Ooh. 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 Shade the most. It is well with the Gordon family. I feel it in my spirit. Peace of the Lord washes you right now. Receive it. I send it to my brother. I send it. I send it to my brother right now where he is. And to my sisters. I send it. I send it. Thank you, Jesus. It is well. We put it in the hands of God. Our God never sleep. He doesn't consult anybody. So whatever he does is well with us. Thank you, Jesus. We rest now. Anybody in this room, anybody in this room, you need a miracle, a healing miracle. Lift your hand right where you are. Right where you are. Healing miracle. Not only for you, but for somebody you know. Lift your hands. Lift your hands and receive it right now. Right now, receive it. It's in this room. It's in this room. What do I mean by it's in this room? God is in this room. God is in this room. You need a healing miracle. Lift it. Lift your hands. Doctors, you don't need to consult doctors no more. You know, it's, it's not about them. You ain't relying on them. It's on God. I, I, I declared and I decreed. Father, right you on YouTube, where, where you are. Lift your hand. Lift your hand on Facebook, where you are. Lift your hand. Receive it. Yeah, this, these things are real. These things are real. Yeah. And you have to pay for this one. Come on, somebody. Just receive it. It's from the Lord. It's from the Holy Ghost. Lift your hands. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, I bless you. Yes, Daddy, we believe you. We settle the issue right now. We give you praise. We give you thanks. Somebody tell him thank you. Somebody tell him thank you. So come on, tell him thank you like you mean it. Come on. If it was a BMW, you'd have clapped louder than that. Come on. Somebody tell him thank you. There you go. Give him the best praise. Give him the best praise. The best. Thank you, Lord. Whew. How much time do I have? Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. Everybody doing good? Everybody doing good? I'm going to take off. Is that all right? Don't oh, follow me. This morning, the ride is going to be a little bumpy. You ever been on an airplane flight? And when you sit down, the pilot comes on and he goes, Ah, good morning, everybody. On our, on our flight path to New York today, um, I must warn you that they, we, we might, uh, you know, encar- so, you know you're in trouble when you're up on the ground. You're not leave yet. And he's letting you know, say, you know, along the way, we're going to have some turbulence. Have you ever been on a flight like that? Anybody ever been on a flight like that? Okay, well, this is one of them flights this morning. Amen, somebody? Where's my rope? Where's my rope? Where's my rope? Thank you so much. Where's my rope? God bless you, my son. God bless you, my son. I have ropes, yeah. I have ropes for people who might need a little help. I have ropes for people who might need a little tie down to them seat. Wave at them as a neighbor. Uh, pastor going to get rough this morning. And when I mean rough, I don't mean rough as in beat up. So please, please, please. Smile, smile. Somebody smile. Smile, smile. I just mean that what I'm about to share, there may be some times when I say some things, and you may look at me and go, Pastor, come on. No, Pastor, you don't have to say that. Pastor, no. Why you have to put it that way? But I just, I just need to carry the church this morning, if you don't mind, out in the street and talk the things real and stop going like said, you in a church. We have to pretend. Can I, can I, can I, can I? Can I just be real this morning? To the point where you may, may tell your friend and say, I don't know if I'm coming back to this church. In, in the reverence, in the reverence, in the reverence. Somebody take back him reverence card. Come on, somebody. But can I preach the thing this morning? Like it real. Somebody, sh- I just need two people. I get, I get one, I got two, do I have two? Okay, cool. This morning, my title is, Don't Stay on Temptation Island. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. Don't stay on temptation island. Romans chapter 17 verse 18 says this. Romans 17 verse 18 says this. For I know that good itself does not dwell in me. This is Paul talking to the church. That is in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good. 
but I cannot carry it out. For I do not do the good I want to do, but the evil I do not want to do. This I keep on doing. For if I do what I do not want to do, do I do? It is no longer I who do it, but it is sin living in me that does it. Verse 21. So I find this law at work, although I want to do good. Evil is right there with me. Anybody? Come on, don't, don't shrink back and get shy now. Come on. You, you still with me? Have I lost you already? Come on, somebody shout amen. Verse 22. For in my inner being, <laughs> see that? I delight in God's law. But I see another law at work in me, waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner of the law of sin at work within me. What a wretched man I am. Somebody just say, what a wretched man I am. You see, they know. You see, they know. So only one person said, bold. The rest of you go, what a wretched man. Like Pastor No, I mean, I call myself that wretch. Can somebody talk the truth in here? I'm going to give you one more shot. So what a wretched man I am. This is Paul talking. If Paul can't say it, I think you can say it too. Amen, somebody? <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Who, who will rescue me? from this body that is subject to death. Verse 25 is where we get happy. You ready? Thanks be to God who delivers me through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Somebody shout amen. amen. Bow your heads at me. Father, I thank you for this word. Thank you for what you're about to do. Daddy, I just bring my voice and my body to you as you know what I'm fighting right now. But Lord, you are able to use me as an instrument to bless your people. And I thank you that every heart is ready to receive life-changing rhema seed. And we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Somebody shout amen. amen. Come on, shout a big amen. amen. Anybody need a rope yet? Anybody need a rope? Just let me know. At any time during the flight, you may need some assistance. Press the button, hallelujah, I say the ceiling, boom, boom, and I shall come down the aisle, hello, and, and assist you. Is that okay? Somebody say praise the Lord. Someone challenged me. Someone challenged me the other day. I said, Pastor, you're preaching all these love things, these nice love things, these nice love messages, and they're very nice, especially for those of you who have your little love of a lifetime beside you. Hallelujah, in the bed at night. It is a beautiful thing when all these married you know, sermons that you're preaching. But what about us lonely people? What about us, those of us who, come on, somebody. What about us, all those of us who are single, single, single? Life, come on, somebody. Uh, I mean, touch, touch, I'm loaded with them this morning. Can I tell you? So let's just hold on, say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Amen. What about us, Pastor, where we feel like God play a trick for we? Come on, somebody. Uh, God calls us to be holy, yet He wired us as human beings with all these feelings. Nothing more than feelings. Come on. Trying to forget. You know, come on. Feelings. <laughs> Somebody, somebody talk to me. What do I do, pastor? When you tell me that Jesus is sufficient for me. But I can't feel him. I can't feel him, pastor. I can't feel him. I can't hug him up in the bed, pastor. Uh -huh. Oh, God. And then him tell me holiness. And church won't kill me if me ever even... Oh, come on, talk to me, somebody. Church won't put me upon the back bench, pastor, like I'm the only one who has yielded to temptation. Pastor, them set we up. Jesus set we up on a laugh off a we in heaven. Anybody need a rope so far? Somebody need a rope? <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming to you. We don't reach the bumpy part yet. And that's, that's just the introduction to the flight. We're taking off. Hallelujah. <laughs> Here's the question I want to ask you though. Is that possible? Is that possible? Is it really possible what Jesus is asking us to do? Can I really and truly live holding on, you know, quieting the temptations and, 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 and let, let me say, oh God, let me say something, let me say this. So let me say something. So when we take off, we're really just flying straight and we've got to cruising altitude and I kind of say, watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me. When I talk to you this morning about temptation, please do not lock in and, and exclusively think I'm thinking about sex 
Because you can be tempted to do things that are not of God, but don't necessarily be sexual. Come on, somebody. Amen? So when I talk to you about being faithful and resisting temptation or coming off of Temptation Island, what I am talking to you about is to, is to, is to do the things that God wants you to do. Because I, I, remember, I remember back in the days, I remember back in the days before I got saved, hallelujah, and before I met Pastor Trudy, I, I used to be one of them, um, yeah, Gallis, Gallis, Somebody say Gallis. Uh, yeah, Mr. Tinks and me was, you know, come on somebody, amen. You know, hello somebody. Uh, anybody in here should think that way? Come, well, come on, put up your hand, come on, put up your hand. You know. Put up your hand, Bruce, put up your hand, put up your hand. You know, all the, all the, all the play, you know, the, the former playboys all the, who are not man of God. Come, somebody, I mean, so, somebody come jailing me. Come on, don't, don't make me go jail by myself. So don't let me go Barry, the, the, the Barry, the Barry. I told you Barry, you know, the Barry. The Barry. Pastor Colin, we have two of you on them. We have two of you on them. Pastor Colin, we have two of your hands. Sebastian gone, Sebastian gone, Sebastian gone. The ultimate poster lover boy gone. I feel alone. Jesus, I feel alone. Hello, Halim. How are you, sir? God, good to see you, sir. I'm just greeting you. I'm not saying you're a part of I'm just saying you're here. It's good to see you. I don't know about you, but my, my, my theme song, my theme song, I mean, Barry's, 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 I always, mean, when I hear him write a song, me want to write a song too, but other than that, I mean, that's how Barry's, and Barry's sister, my song say, hey, little girl, each time you, so what, 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 why no one touch the people in that, and the people in, I know your wife, Come on, Rick. No, the baddest one to me, the baddest one to me was when he said, say, Hey, baby, what do you expect of me? Should I stand in the middle of the road? Let something run over. If you not get the girl after that, she has skittle. Cuss her off. Cuss her off. She not worth it. I'm telling you. After the lyrics there, she's supposed to go, oh, Okay. <laughs> But it's a problem if you will go to that extent. To be touchy. That, that means the temptation really have a hold upon you, don't it? For you to go and kill yourself to get somebody's attention. <laughs> somebody looking at me like, I don't even know those songs. Can I go for it? Can't help it if I wanted to. Wouldn't help it even if I could. Can't help it if I wanted to. Wouldn't help it now. What do you mean I can't help it? Not your feelings. Not your emotion. Not your body. Somebody say, hold on for your victory. Wave, wave at your name and say, it's possible. It's possible. Pastor, I'm going to tell you how this morning. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> okay, I tell you what's going to get bumpy, right? I tell you what's going to get bumpy. I actually, I actually know the person who was there in the service. But this happened in a church to a young man one time. Where, you know, your church sometimes have testimony service. Pastor Colin, don't, don't pray for me. You know, you know, you know, church have testimony service. How many remember church, church have testimony service? You cannot come up and give a testimony. Well, this young man got saved. He's now a pastor. Uh, you know, amen. God bless me, I won't reveal anymore. Because, you know, I want the man of God to stay. Hallelujah. Uh, yes. But this man, was a, he was a young boy, got saved, and he's in church, and him sitting there, and he's, he's crying. And the pastor said, I remember that young man, you got saved in the last baptism, don't it? Um, 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 about, about a couple months ago. Would you like to give your testimony? And the young man come up and him and cry. He said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Je church. I want to thank the Lord. He saved me. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Church, you don't understand, and I want to really serve the Lord. In a special way. But church, you need to pray for me. Because I'm begging Jesus and Jesus. You need to cut it off, Jesus. <laughs> this thing is a hindrance, Jesus. But I want to be holy in the name of Jesus. The pastor said, okay, okay, thank you, son. Thank you, thank you. Hallelujah, thank you. 
No one is laughing. Anybody need a rope? Anybody need a rope? Anybody need a rope? Need a rope, hold on. I was tired, sir. Cause it, 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 it'll get more bumpy than this. You need a rope, Miss Lady? You need a rope? Thank you, Jesus. Let me give you one. Give you one. Come on, make sure you're secure. Come on, you hurt yourself. The man genuine. Here's the question I want to ask you. When we come, we the church don't want to talk about it. We act like these things don't happen. But the man have a genuine issue. Him coming to Christ. Oh, gra- granny, when him co- Granny, look at me. I don't want to talk to you right now. Don't, don't, don't make nobody know something. Come on. But, but Granny, me and you got jail. Granny, listen to me. <laughs> the man genuine. Him coming and him say, listen. I love the Lord. But something keeps going on here past this Christian thing. I thought this would have been dead. He thought he was going to sing. He thought he was going to sing. Shangela Franklin song. Kill flesh now. You know it? <laughs> Shebel did explain to the people what she mean when she's exactly when she said kill flesh. Because I'm not every flesh. For dead. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Some of us need. <laughs> we all need. Hello, somebody. Even those who are about to get married. Come on, talk to me. Daniel, am I doing good? I need to come get me. <laughs> And some of us, some of us, you know, even gone past the whole thing of struggling, you know. Some of us gone past the struggling thing. Some of us are start saying, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. I know I'm in old school. Some of you are like, oh, pastor. Some of you are, some of you are upon me and Mrs. Jones. Not you in this church. I'm preaching to the tape and to the people out on YouTube. Please don't get nervous. Amen. Some of you sing that to me. We both know that it is wrong. Watch a line now. Cause it's much too strong to let. That's a, that's a, that's a lie from the pit of hell. Because if you, if nothing is too strong, that God can't. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Wave your hand. Wave your hand and clap your hand and give God praise. Come on. But some of us, some of us, some of us, some of us have this thing to the point where, you know, we, we are just so, we don't, we don't care no more. We, so, some of us even have it to the point, to the point where, are some people, not you, some people even have it to the point where they think that's what God did. In other words, God wired them that way. Some man even look at me and say, listen, Solomon have a much wife. Not understanding that not everything you read in the Bible, you must, it, it is permitted. Sometimes the Bible is reporting something to you. Don't necessarily mean it's an, it's, an, it's, an, it's an order or it's a command. Can I preach the thing? Not because, because if you read the full story of Solomon, at the end of his story, he repented of having so many wives and concubines. Nobody want to talk about that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Talk to me. Talk to me. Hmm? We are quick to tell you about Solomon and the many wives. <laughs> But we don't tell you about the problems that come with that. I was privy. Can I give you this joke? I promise you won't tell nobody. Yes. Promise to stay right as well. Yes. You, you promise me. Yes, turn off the tape. Soon turn off the tape. <laughs> tape. You promise you won't tell. There's a there's a there's a certain um, Rastafarian reggae singer. <laughs> I won't go any further than that. I was at the studio and. I was, I was in this, in this, on the studio set up now. I'm in the stairways. Danny, don't, don't sit on. I'm in the stairways and the, the, the singer is in front of me. So he knows I'm there, but the, the, the lady who came to see him didn't know I was, Danny, don't sit on. Danny, please. Pray, let's pray for me. Um, uh, the lady comes to him and she's, keep, she's complaining that, you know, another woman or a couple other women are, are, are you know, like threatening her, you know, because, you know, she belonged to him and, and she finally say them belong to him too. Amen? And he's standing there and I'm listening in, I'm, I'm behind him and I have, I never forget this. I was 11 years old at the time when it happened. I never forget this. Barry, hear this. So she, she, she turns to him and she said, you know, I, I just can't take it. All the baby mothers and all the people that come and I didn't, they don't fight nobody, you know. And I'm saying, hey, hold on a second. Don't the I know that God is love? She said, yeah. He said, all right. And don't I know 
that God put love in I? She said, yeah. He said, all right. Then don't the I know? He said, God put love in the people for I. She said, yeah. He said, all right. Then if God is love and give love to I, and the people have love for I, who is I to deny the people of the love they have for I? you I felt like giving him an offering <laughs> and it's so good <laughs> take it shoot. somebody shout lie but if it's really a lie then how do we how do we what is God saying about this how do we really get over this thing and deal with it the right way? I'm going to give you three stories. Watch this. Three stories. But five principles up on these three stories. And we just hit them. Boom, boom, boom. And we're done. Is that good? Yes. And we help you to understand this thing. Go with me. First story. David and Bathsheba. Second Samuel 11. David and Bathsheba. Second Samuel 11. Watch this. Verse 1. In the spring, at a time when kings go off to war. Don't miss that. David sent Joab out with the king's men and the whole Israelite army. They destroyed the Amorites and besieged Rabbah. But David remained in Jerusalem. One evening, David got up from his bed and walked around on the roof of the palace. From the roof, he saw a woman bathing. Come on, somebody. You know the story? The woman was very beautiful. And David sent someone to find out about her. The man said, she is Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam and the wife of Uriah the Hittite. Then David sent messages to her. She came to him and he slept with her. Watch this. Now she was purifying herself from her monthly uncleanliness. Then she went back home. Verse 5. The woman conceived and sent word to David saying, I am pregnant. Somebody said trouble start. Here's the first thing you need to do. Here's the first lesson or principle I want you to think. Don't complain now when you're complaining. Don't, don't talk to God and tell God, say, this is my nature. I can't do anything about it. Temptation is in me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, you know, this is my lot. Devil is a liar. Can I tell you the first principle that will help you to find a way out to resist? Watch this, watch this. Don't blame it on the boogie. Blame it on yourself. David, you must recognize, watch me, you have a problem. Because not because a temptation comes, you're quiet. Not because a temptation comes to you, it means you have to receive it. And at every dance you get invited to, you need to show up. Come on, Ponzi, turn, turn up a little bit in the, in the Come on. Here's the first thing about this situation. Watch this. Here's the first thing about this situation. David was out of place. What do I mean he was out of place? David is on a roof, walking around, looking, when he should be at war. You go back and rewind the tape in your life. In all the times that you gave into temptation, I bet you any money you were not in the right place. You were at a place where you were not supposed to be. Or you let somebody in your place who was not supposed to be in your place. I'm preaching good. Because it is when you're out of place, watch this, all kind of things become open to you. So before you get there, make sure you're in God's place. Who am I preaching to? <laughs> Not only was he out of place, he was out of order. You see, here's the thing. Here, Miss Michelle, here's the, thing, here's the thing. Contrary to what we believe, we have always preached this, this topic 
and we say things like this. Bad sheep up on our roof. A beard naked. A t-shirt is the man. King up on fem roof. And, and in, in, in the in the perfume roof, I walk around. In my king, in my right for walk around on the roof. Cover up yourself. Don't you help the man of God. Well, you're trouble the man of God. There is no place in the scripture where it says she was on a roof. Barry, the Bible says David was on a roof. She was in her house. If you understand Jewish houses and culture, the place where you bathe, because there's no hair sea, hallelujah, and no indoor plumbing, then it is outside that you bathe. So here's my point. She's naturally doing what she would do on any given day. Im is the one who is spying. Right there. <laughs> So before you start blaming the woman, well, why shut the affair? I'll teach them outside. Eh. Anybody in the room? You praying for me? I'm going to talk the truth this morning. I'm going to start this morning. This may be my last time pre preaching in this church. They may ask me to resign. sister and you wrap three, three cloth around her <laughs> the woman was ceremonially bathing and cleaning herself is it possible that you can see something but not run to it can I preach not because you walk past the pastry shop don't mean you have to buy the whole carrot cake could you keep it moving and say bless the Lord hallelujah as a pastor you know how many women hello somebody that I've seen pastor how are you pastor Trudy's away right now oh it's nice to see you pastor you know I'm here for you you know yes thank you sister the blood the And sometimes you need to come off of your roof. <laughs> Somebody preach a thing. So what's the principle? What's the principle? What's the principle? If you stay in your place and in your order, you will most times have victory over temptation. Galatians 5.16 says it this way. Walk in the spirit. Watch this. And you shall not fulfill the loss of the flesh. Not maybe... Not you have a good chance that Bible is guaranteeing you this. If you do what? Walk in the you shall not fulfill. So if you don't, if you if you're having trouble fulfilling the loss of the flesh, check your walking in the spirit. You don't need to go around eliminating every sexy woman that is on the planet. Deal with you. Somebody say keep by yourself. Second thing, second thing, second thing, second thing. The red flags are there. Open your eyes. God will always send you signs to let you know, get out of here. You just don't want to see them. Can I, can I, can I show you it in, in, in the word? David comes and he goes and he's, he inquires about this woman. He gets a report. The first thing they tell him, she belongs to Eliam. Eliam. No, before, before I reach Uriah. Eliam. Eliam is her father. Eliam is one of David, David's mighty men. In other words, David and her father are friends. What are you doing with your friend, daughter? Come on, come on, talk to me, talk to me. Talk to me. Hmm? How can I, as a pastor at 54, go trouble some young girl now? What am I going to tell my daughter? At 27, what would I say to her that would make any kind of sense? Talk to me. Hmm? Huh? 
That's the first red flag. Somebody say red flag. Anybody in, in, in you know about red flag? When you say red flag, red flag. Her grandfather was, when you know, Hatithopel. He's one of David's chief counselors. Here's the next red flag. She's the wife of Uriah. Uriah is David's friend. They're in the... Oh, y'all, 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 y'all. Some of the church people. Can we not talk about the house? We're not talking about Water Street. This soap opera is going on in the church. And then David sent message and then tell her, said she was on the roof bathing. She was having a cl- cleansing moment. When you're up there having that cleansing moment, you're cleansing yourself from the monthly things that we let men go through. That means she's getting ready for her husband to come home from the war. Because that's a good time. We're not time, I'm saying, where you can get, you know, higher, high percentage of getting pregnant. So we have a trouble the man set up. Some of the red flags. God will always put a red flag in front of you. Can I give you one? Can I give you one? You're supposed to, you're going to do something and all of a sudden you are you have run out of um, Pastor Colin help me now. You have run out of the, the, the things that prevents the tools. That's a sign. Somebody said that's a red flag. That's God giving you away. They say get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. You come too far. Be alone. Be alone. Bet. Run up. But no, you go around to the pharmacy and come back. I'm not preaching this morning. <laughs> it's too rough. It's too rough. It's top, top me. It's too rough. I'm not preaching. Here's, an, here's another red flag. He's supposed to come over. And he and, 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 said 10 o'clock. And it's now 11. And I'm saying, no, I'm still coming. I'm still coming. That, that was a, that was a red flag. You should have said, no, 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 no. Something is something. God is talking to me here. What, you one hour late? No, 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 Think on it again. Remember. Do a check in your, in, your, in your memory. Every time that you have gotten into something that you're not supposed to get into. If you really think about it, there were many signs where God sent you a little message to say, don't do that. I'm warning you, son. I'm warning you, daughter. So don't think God is not with you. Here's the second, here's the second, 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 um, Second group of people. Um, and my third point. Adam and Eve. Somebody say Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve in Genesis 2. Watch this in Genesis 2. Genesis chapter 2, verse 8. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east, in Eden. And there he put the man he had formed. The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground. Trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. Somebody say good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Everybody get that? So Adam and Eve is in the garden. Amen, somebody? God put them in there. God put a water the garden and make it fruitful. There's a whole heap of trees in there. Watch this now. Genesis chapter 3, verse 6. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave to her husband who was with her and he, he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were open and they realized they were naked and so they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Any, any, anyone of you know the story I'm, ta- I'm talking about? You know the story? Everybody know the story? Everybody know the story? They're in the garden. God tell them don't eat a particular tree. He gave them all the other trees. She eats of it. Nothing happens. She gives it to her husband. All hell broke, break loose. Watch this. Here's my point. You ready? Third point. Watch this. Don't be a wango gut. Or a wango belly. 
No one got got. No one got got. No one got So poison. How do I know this? It's a key thing in this story that people, people miss all the time. Can I tell you the key thing in this story? God gave them all the other trees and the one where she couldn't get, she pined after. God always give you all kind of trees that you need. But here's our nature. We want the one that we're not supposed to get. Do you know that there are 2,500 or approximately 2,500 two types of trees or fruit trees on the earth? Types. Can you imagine if they didn't start eat the 2,499? You think they would have time for worry about the one? Somebody's a greedy. God has given you all kind of trees. What do I mean? Trees that if you started to eat from those trees, your time would be so fulfilled, you don't have time. Who am I preaching to? But it's the one you can't get to, all of a sudden seems so attractive. Talk to me. Talk to me. What's the principle? The principle is this. Write it down. Occupy yourself with the things of God. And you will never deal with the forbidden things of God. A busy person for the Lord. Most unlikely will not have struggles. With the things that pull them, pull them away from God. Delight yourself in me, says the Lord, and I will give you. But you have to first do what? How do I delight myself in the Lord? I do have no time on my yard. I don't have time on, I have time on my yard. I don't, have, I, I don't have nothing to do. So here's what I do. Instead of go up on the computer and watch porn, go on a church. Pastor, you need me for anything? Come on, talk to me. Anyone? But, but here's the thing. Pastor, I'm going to light that tree there. That tree did not have on, that tree did, no, that tree did have on thinking to. That tree did not have on star apple. I want, ma I want East Indian mangoes. <laughs> Pastor, I know what I want. Why am I telling you this? Because, I, okay, we were studying John Bevere, he, the thing with John Bevere about Adam and Eve. How many, if you're in that, in that, 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 that class, okay, you know, you know what I'm talking about. John Bevere said a very powerful thing. He said the problem with Eve when she, why she ate the tree, is that she saw the tree and it was good. I'm say it was good. I mean, remember that. She said that she saw the tree and the tree was, the fruit was good. And, and he was teaching the principle that sometimes the tree is good. Not some, it's not all, it, he, he, his point was that sometimes we get, we get um, you know, in trouble with God because we go for the good thing and not the God thing. In other words, sometimes things are not so, it's not about blatant evil. Sometimes things are good. But can I go a little bit further than that? Can I, can I go a little bit further than that? The tree that she ate of was good. Right? But guess what? So were the other trees. So what's the difference between this tree, Danny, and the other trees? That tree that she ate from was the only one with wisdom on it. Every other tree was created to feed you and be a blessing to you. That tree was the only one that if she ate of it, she would have gained wisdom. Here's the problem with us. We just don't want to be fed by God. We want to know everything Him know. We're not satisfied with us being led by Him. We don't want to be the child and say, Daddy, whatever you say, here I am today. Give us this day our... No, no, I want to know the plan. I want to control the plan. And I want to also serve the plan. And, and, and I'll consult you every now and again about the plan. So guess what? Let's cut straight to the chase. Give me the tree that makes me more like you. 
Can I preach it? So God looked for you and said, you know, you don't need to be with this guy. You go, no, 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 of course I do. Because I know just like you. God says, no, 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 I have a guy for you. I have a lady for you. I have what you need. Eat from these trees. No, 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 you don't understand. I need to pick my own. I'm not preaching. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Two more minutes. Joseph and Potiphar's wife. Last one. Genesis 39. How <laughs> I many you know this story? Joseph and Potiphar's wife. Now, 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 Joseph, now Joseph was well built and handsome. After all the while, his master's wife took notice of Joseph and said, come to bed with me. But he refused. With me in charge, he told her, my master does not concern himself with anything in the house. Everything he owns, he has entrusted to my care. No one is greater in this house than I am. My master has withheld nothing from me except you. Does that sound like the story we just mentioned a while ago? Of where God give you everything but hold one thing from you? Does that sound like it? Because you are his wife. How then could I do such a wicked thing and sin against God? And though she spoke to Joseph day after day, so somebody said pressure. A long time she had pressure the youth. Somebody said pressure. He refused. In other words, you can be under pressure but still hold your victory. Don't tell me now. Say it's hard. Joseph know about being in tough situations. Joseph know how to be on a job where there's pressure around you, but you still hold your victory. Oh, you're quiet. You're quiet. You're quiet. Pastor, I want to leave the job. No. Why? There's pressure. Tell my talk about pressure. The boss entrusts you with everything, but his wife won't rape you. Somebody show pressure. And he didn't move until God moved him. That's a somebody. Hello, somebody. Can I preach? Then one day he went into the house with his duties and none of the household servants was inside. Somebody said, set up. Somebody said, set up. She caught him by his cloak and said, come to bed with me. But he left his cloak in her hand and ran out the house. Can I bless somebody? Can I bless somebody? Here's, here's, here's the, here's the what, what, what am I, where am I? Third one or fourth one? Fourth one? Fourth. Anoint yourself as pocket rocket and run. Lay hands on yourself and speak the anointing of Shelley and Fraser. Pick up your little maga for them and run. Somebody say run. Some of us are so prideful, we don't need to stand up to everything. Sometimes you have to just take up yourself and because there are times when the pressure gets so rough, it reaches the point now where you have to run. Somebody shall run. But my friend, they're not going to talk about me. Somebody say, run. You are already in the room and take off your clothes. I'm sorry, what did you say? No, pastor, it's already. I already seen already. Somebody tell them, let us enjoy it. Somebody say, run. Mr. Tanya, I'm doing good. Can I get five more minutes, Mr. Boss? Mr. Boss? Mr. Sir? There is no shame in you running. Did you know that even if, uh, can I, especially the ladies, you need to hear this. Did you know that if you go out on a date with somebody, you even go home with them, and you reach in the place that doors lock, mute, load up on the, up on the stereo, come on somebody, wine all, drink and all them kind of things. And, and you reach to that place now where you take off your clothes. Did you know that at the moment you stop and say, hold on, I'm not doing this. No. Everything changed. And by law, you are, can I, can I, can I, can I preach the word? And by law, nobody can force you to do anything. If they force you, it is called rape. Hello, somebody. What am I saying to you? You can start to run at any point in this race. Can I preach the thing? Pastor, what is he going to think of me? 
He's going to think of you as a Christian woman who came to her senses like the prodigal son in the pig pen and got up and run to your father's house. Can I preach a thing? What's the principle? Do what you have to do to save yourself. Even if it makes you look strange. The boy, I get up and run, you know. Peaches. Imagine. Take off the things and show him, you know. And him get up and run and tell me about it. Him, him, him God, him, him God, him Jesus wouldn't, him, him feel away. Him feel, con- I want to him. Him, you know, so me, they, they were the one of the usher them last week. I want to him. Can I preach? He must come go and say, she must be my church man. No, what about the him? I want, how about the boy, you know? Am I doing good? Pastor Colin, why, why, why you take up the white towel? Pastor Colin, take up a white towel. I want to keep on chewing it. I'm going to preach this, Pastor. How did the man them around here come to you and go, so hold on, you're, you're a Christian man, you're a Christian. So, so, oh, what, 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 No man, prove yourself, man. man I, I, yo, a man we flex within a virgin. A man upon this corner, a pure man upon a corner, you know. Let me go church thing the way I go out within a big man. Now I go work, you know. We don't want to fish around here. Can I talk it? <laughs> prove yourself, big man. I go up and I move later. See how they know? Somebody shall run. See, I ain't a big man. I'm sure we're going to deal with it, you know. A regular thing that's not Jamaica. I don't know. Come to my youth. Somebody shall run. run. Oh, God. Can I preach the thing? Can I close? I'm, I'm going to close. I'm going to close. Can I close? Mm. Sometimes when you're running, you have to run left your cloak. What I mean? <laughs> let me again, let me again. Joseph. Joseph had on the cloak. And the woman grabbed onto the cloak and said, Come here, boy. And Joseph said, No, not, not disrespecting my God. And I had to run out and let, Do you know that your cloak, your cloak represents your security? It's the thing that covers you from storms and, 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 and keeps the cold out. It's a necessary piece of garment. Sometimes in saving yourself, you lose some things. That you have to run away and leave. Because God can't give you another cloak. Can I preach? You may lose reputation. Well, I can't take the one Jesus I've been as I sing about him love of a lifetime. A one burner man. I'm the one burner thing. Oh, them, them things are soft. Can't move amongst them, man. I'm not like growing him, you know. Every time I grow him, I talk about peer one, one girl thing, man. Chew the, 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 chew the. You know, I hear that. And you have to sometimes shake off your cloak. What's cloak, friends? Furniture. House. Because sometimes we have to separate. And go our separate ways. Cause you go one way, and me go God way. Can I preach? Mm, I'm about to close. <laughs> Can I get five more? <laughs> I close. I close with this. I close with this. I close with this. Here's the fifth. Fifth one. Fifth one? Here's the fifth one. It's not hard to say goodbye 
to temptation. It's not hard to say goodbye to temptation. <laughs> because some of you look at me sometimes and say, Pastor, you don't understand, you know, if you didn't ever see him. <laughs> Well, Pastor, I want the tough. I have a word from the Lord for you. The word of the Lord comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. It says, No temptation. Somebody said, No temptation. In other words, I don't care who him is or how hot him is. Somebody said, No temptation. Has seized you except, come on, it's except. What is common to man? What does that mean? In other words, you think him hot. You think he's the baddest temptation from the world. And God said, come on. I should have called it an offering for that one, don't it? I feel a preacher's anointing. I feel a preacher's anointing. An offering right there. Right there. But I'm not taking any offerings right now. But that was good preaching right there. So son. I hear the Holy Ghost say, good preaching, son. You know why it's good preaching? Because it's the word. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't look at me and big me up. No, in other words, shut your mouth. No temptation has seized you except what is common. In other words, eh, and I'm not new. Where you pine over and get, get yourself worked up. A regular Thompson. Everybody on the planet got through the same temptation. Stop going like yours is the worst in the world. You know, oh, it's so hard, Pastor. It's hard. I'm in my bed crying at night, Pastor. I miss him. I miss you. I miss you. Will you take off that and put on some, some, some falling in love with G? Oh, y'all, y'all don't hear me in this church. Y'all don't hear me in this church. Because the brother we are pine over, the girl we are pine over, she regular, she regular. I know you think she cute, but let the worst of we tell you the truth. She's not that cute, honey. Good, better, best. No cup, no brook. No coffee, no spill. I remember one time, I cried for one girl, Miss, Miss Faith. I'm, I'm part of the family. I'm saying, what you cry for? <laughs> she gone. <laughs> Me and I mash up. I'm saying, what's your name? I'm saying, you're talking about you. Yeah, you're talking about you. You know who he is? You're my boy. No, I'm here. I'm saying, she gone. It mash up. I'm saying, mash up. Oh, I'm saying, one to the girl before she. I'm saying, um, I'm saying, you, 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 you remember when she left it to, and you did cry? I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying, I want her to come down to me. I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying, wait, wait for the next one. When she comes, she's not going to make you forget that one, you know? my preaching to. here's the rest of the verse for God is faithful somebody say faithful that he will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear stop telling lies so you can't bear it because if you belong to God God would not send you something that would overcome over, overpower you if it overpowered you it's because you wanted it to because in your stinking flesh, you really wanted him. Tell the truth. And you are not willing to keep by yourself. Put your little pillow right in your lap. Come on, somebody. And your teddy bear right behind you. And hook up the two of them and say, God and me and you, we're going to bleed him out. Who am I preaching to this morning? Stand to your feet. Sorry I took so long. Facebook, we went a little bit now. I'm so sorry.
because he will never put anything in front of you that he knows you cannot bear. Why he knows you cannot bear it? You can bear it? Let me tell you why he knows you can bear it. Because he's with you. And there is nothing that can overcome him. All you need to do is remain in him. Because the verse ends with this. But when you are tempted, which tells me you're going to be. But when you are tempted, we have a thing as a neighbor. No, we have a thing as a neighbor. I don't know special about you. See, there's someone on the shy. Come on, come on. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, ain't nothing special about your temptation. Look at them again and say, all of we get tempted. No tree now growing on my face. I know you won't get tempted. But our God promises us he will also, watch this, provide a way out so that you can endure it. Am I trying to act like this thing is not real? No. When you are in your house by yourself at night, it gets lonely. Pastor of a wife. Jesus. Who I have not seen now for a couple weeks. I'm pastor for a prayer real hard I fling the pillow them, I fling the pillow them all over the bed I kick the pillow off of the bed I get vex I cause a vex a vex cause she didn't have the bed I look over my bed empty bed's too big without you my song right now hallelujah so if me can have hallelujah like Cheryl now who have the Barry if you can have the Barry, and then when him go away sometime, you get your missive. I can understand. I certainly can understand those of us who are single and don't have anybody. So I am not by any means making slight of your situation. But in the same token, God's grace is sufficient for you. Lift your hands and say, thank you, Lord. That I will not stay on Temptation Island. I will abide in love. Somebody say, I will abide in love. Clap your hands and give God praise. Could give God praise. Give God praise. Come on, thank Him for what He's doing in your life. Thank Him for keeping you. Thank Him for His love, which is greater than any love you have ever known in your life. Oh, if you mean that, clap your hands and give Him praise. Hallelujah. pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, lift your hands. I thank you for all the people who are feeling lonely at this time. Those who have given into temptation and feel like they have the worst child. Remember now, God loves the bad children. God loves all of us. All of us. Lord, I just pray right now for even those who have fallen into adultery and, 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 and fornication. Those who did have somebody but yet still chose to make the mistake. Father, you are a forgiving God and a loving God. I want to speak to somebody. You did not do the worst sin in the church. That's a lie from the pit of hell. You can come home. You can come back. Lift every hand in this place. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Your love, your love, your love. Your love always rescues me from temptation. I will not be subject to this thing. I will not think like the world, like I'm alone and I can't do this. Yes, you can. God is in you. Holiness is achievable. Perfection is, is to be pursued. Come on, somebody. I feel God right there. And Father, I bless you. I thank you in the name of Jesus for what you're doing in your people. We give you praise. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name. And somebody say amen. Oh, yes.